We mention that real feel temperature a lot because yeah. that's what our body feels. Uh, you know, if you sweat, but the sweat won't evaporate, you won't, won't get cooled down. Yeah. Um, that's what happens when it gets so humid. And today is we've actually had a reprieve from some of the intense humidity. If you were out first thing this morning, it kind of felt refreshing. Um, you know, not like a fall morning or anything, but it was certainly better than some of the July mornings we've had. Beautiful view over Lake Hartwell. No rain inside, at least for the rest of today. But next 24 hours, we do have a rain chance. Tomorrow morning, we're going to start off in the 70s, working our way to the low 80s by 10 a.m. It will be a hot afternoon, temperatures in the low 90s, but humidity won't be too bad just yet. We'll be looking at upper 80s around Asheville, 94 in Anderson, 91 for Spartanburg. Now, maybe your plans take you to Lake Kiwi, Hartwell, maybe down to Lake Greenwood. We're looking at mid 90s by Saturday. You'll be wanting to jump in that lake. Uh, 92 tomorrow with a chance for a late day shower or storm. And to talk about that, we're going to track the tropics because there's actually a disturbance that has about a 10% chance of becoming tropical. So let's just say this probably isn't going to be a tropical system, but the National Hurricane Center is monitoring it. Here we are, and of course, here's the Carolina coast. This system is going to be pushing a lot of moisture toward the coast. There's actually a flood watch because of it. This is going to be some beneficial rain, though, for the state because we're all under drought conditions of some form. Uh, but for us, we're not going to see as much. This is Friday morning. You can see some heavy downpours there. And notice how they really focus along the coast, those darker greens Friday evening. This is going to make for some wet beach weather if you're going to be heading down Friday, Saturday, heavy downpours in the morning into the afternoon. While here we are, most of the rain stays to our east. We could use it, uh, but here's Friday morning, a few showers around Charlotte. We're going to watch and see a little bit of that action try to hit our eastern zones. So the farther east and south you live, the closer you live to that coastline, the better your chance of getting a few showers out of this, but it's not going to be a big rain chance for Friday. Saturday, during the heat of the day, we could get a couple to pop up. You can kind of see that here, but it's not going to be everywhere and certainly isn't going to make much of a dent in our drought situation. Our next big thing, it's just going to be this heat. That's going to be the big story the next several days. A small opportunity for some rain Friday, Saturday, and then the heat dome builds again. Look at that near 100 degrees. That's an actual temperature. You know, we talked about the real field temperatures. It's possible it could feel like up to 105 to 110, not unlike that Friday after July 4th. You remember that last week? Ooh, it was hot. We were the hottest day that we've had since uh, 2012. Now we've issued first alert weather days for these days. There are going to be some hot days all through the next seven, but that's July for you. We've highlighted, though, the two where we're going to have the greatest risk for those little kids, like Carrie was just talking about. The elderly, your pets, really need to watch out for them Monday, Tuesday. It's not even a chance of rain to cool down. Now Wednesday's still going to be pretty hot, but there's some signs that we may get some late day storms to cool off things and then we get back down into the low 90s by Thursday, uh, so a little less intense. Uh, so we'll be watching and hoping for just a little rain in some spots on Friday, only small rain chances through the weekend in the mountains and very hot for the mountains on Monday, Tuesday, near record territory with those low 90s. Be sure to download the Fox Carolina First Alert Weather app to stay posted on this heat wave that is coming. It's really starting tomorrow and on into the weekend, and we'll keep, keep you up to date if any more First Alert days are issued.